next video it will be the next a new video starting a new book called the bombing of darwin the diary of tom taylor darwin 1942 we start with wednesday 5th of november 1941 today's my 14th birthday and i don't have to go to school tonight's guy fawkes night and tomorrow we leave so many exciting things happening all at once Crackers and presents tonight, and then the train trip to Sydney tomorrow night. Mum and I have never been out of South Australia before, but we have to leave to be with Dad. He's been in Darwin for six weeks now. The government were desperate to get extra wharfies up there. He applied for a transfer, got one, and flew up there to start work. Mum and I will join him as soon as we can pack up our house here in Port Adelaide. Mum let me walk down the street at lunchtime to buy the crackers. Mr. Hammer the Barber is a closer shop that sells them. I bought some penny, two penny and three penny bungers, four six penny skyrockets, three Catherine wheels, five jumping jacks and two golden reins. Mum wanted them because they're pretty. I like the jumping jacks because they're cheap and can't hurt anyone. But boy they give people a fright. I chuck them near my friend's legs and laugh when they shout and jump. Because today's on my birth also my birthday, I'm allowed to choose all the crackers and have friends over for tea. Four boys from my class are coming here after school. It's funny being at home and not walking back from the station with them. We're not allowed to burn the guy or have a bonfire tonight because of the war. The government's worried fires could attract a bombardment from an enemy enemy submarine hiding in the gulf. It doesn't matter. We'll still have lots of fun and I'll get presents. Great. Mum gave me this diary as one of her presents. She wants me to write about our stay in Darwin. We're not going to live there forever. Just for a year or so. Maybe less if the war ends. I've never kept a diary before but I have kept a set of scrapbooks since the war started two years ago. It's a scrap room really. I've glued hundreds of pictures and newspaper headlines about the war on the walls of my sleep amp. They've, they have helped stop the wind coming through the cracks. My room was very breezy before the war started. Mum's told me that I won't be allowed to glue things to the walls in Durham because we won't own the house. We'll only be renting, so I guess I'll have to get used to writing. Late. What a great night. I'm too excited to sleep. Mum had a beautiful cake. With icing. What a treat. Mrs. Benson, our neighbour, made it and brought it over from her place while we were eating tea. The boys sang happy birthday very badly, but they gave me some butte presents. John always gives me something different. His family doesn't have much money, so he tries to find interesting things that are cheap. This year, he got a football from Alberton Oval. I waited out on Broham Street, and when someone kicked a goal and the ball came over the fence, I grabbed it, jumped on my bike, and got out of there pronto. I had to beat three other boys and an official for the ball. But I was too fast for them. You could get into trouble with the police, you didn't realise, Mum told John. Footballs are very expensive at the moment because of the shortage of rubber and leather. Yeah, Dad told me that when I got home, so I've had it hidden in a chook shed ever since. You're going to take it out of the state tomorrow, so I think I'm safe now. John has let all the air of the ball, so it will be easier to pack. At least you'll have something to remember Port Adelaide with the next footy season. Mr Taylor and you can have some kicks. They mind play Aussie rules in Darwin. You could be the first to teach them how to play, Tom. Mum thanked John and said it was a very thoughtful present. And that ends that instalment of the bombing of Darwin.